Okay, today's tutorial is going to be a pretty short one, but a pretty neat one at the same time. I had been seeing a lot of renders out there this a while ago uh, that had really cool, I thought it was just at the time, textures. And I was trying to figure out how people got these. And finally, uh, a few months back, I figured out how they were doing it. It was, they were using the ambient lighting. Uh, so this is very simple to do. It slows down your rendering like crazy, but gives a great effect to your images. So I'm starting with the default view here. I'm just going to split the screen here, set this one to camera view. And this one I'm going to add a plane, scale it out, go in side view, I'll grab it and move it down, and then I'll add a uh, sphere. So I'm just adding some objects so we can have something to look at. So I grab a sphere, I'll make it smooth. Uh, we'll clone this box and just get a few things out there to, to look at. Okay, let's uh, hit F12 and render that, see how it looks. Now you see it renders in just a couple of seconds here. We have a nice looking, you know, we got the two spheres in the box there. Now I'm going to show you how to set ambient lighting, which will just change the way it looks. Uh, go into your shading, F5 here, and go over to your world view, or world button. And right here you see AMB OCC. Just turn that on ambient occlusion and let's hit F12. Now I've never messed with any of the settings in here. I uh, probably should have before I did this tutorial I'll show you guys some other things. But just the default settings look great. But you'll see it, it's slowing down the rendering quite a bit and especially if you're doing a video you know going from one second in image to five seconds in image it just is crazy when you're doing 30 frames a second. But um, if you have the time and the processing power, go ahead and do it. You see right here that we have, it, it looks very different than, um, than it did before. And basically you're getting, uh, uh, the easiest way to describe this is basically it's like doing calculations to reflect light back up in, in somewhat of a more realistic way. Um, where instead of just being completely black on this side of the box, it's reflecting light off other surfaces up to it. So, uh, Let's uh, let's try to get a side by side comparison here for you guys to look at since we have plenty of time here. Um, we will do go into our rendering window, and I'm actually going to change the resolution of the a bit uh, just to make it a little bit quicker. I'm going to save this one as um, test one. Have it set to JPEG, and I'll just set this to one here. So we're rendering one frame, I'm going to click animate, and we'll wait for that to render out. should render a bit quicker because we're doing lower resolution. You'll see it only does four segments of the picture instead of eight that it was doing before. And when that's done, I'll render up the same image without the ambient lighting and put them side by side so you can see the difference. Um, and this is neat if you're not doing any textures on your boxes, on your on your models, uh, you know, uh, even if you are doing textures, but if you're not, if you're just doing the basic gray like we are, and you have like a little city uh, uh, look to it, you know, some, some just scenery, it really does uh, add to it. So I'm going to turn off ambient occlusion right there, and I will hit, I changed test, that to be test 2. While that's rendering, I'm going to go to my temporary director. You see how much faster that rendered. And I will open up this one and open up this one. So there's without. And if we go down there, it is with ambient lighting. So you can definitely see a difference there. It's a brighter picture. You get more lighting on the other sides of the boxes. So that is how you do ambient lighting if you had seen pictures that kind of have this this look to it that is how it's done and it's just as simple as clicking that button so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial even though it was a short one very simple one hope you found it useful visit filmsbychris.com feel free to comment and rate this video and the link for films by chris is in the description it's uh, filmsbychris.com and it's chris with a k